Hey guys, TechSmartFood here. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions, or not too many, but a few people have asked me if the A10, if the AMD A10 processor is so easy to overclock and maintain and is stable at a high frequency, how the hell do you go by doing it? All, right, all you're going to need to do is go on Google, go to AMD's website, download AMD Overdrive. I will link it in the description, so uh, scroll down to that and make it a lot easier for you. Uh, but just open up AMD Overdrive. It's going to ask you this, just whatever, say yes, okay. Give it a second to load. Very easy process. Be very careful with it, though. You're, if you overclock it too much and your laptop has poor ventilation or the way you have it set up is poor, like the ventilation is poor, then then, then you'd have to watch out. Um, but if you have, like, one of those uh, cooling pads that you set your I, uh, your your laptop, almost, I almost said iPhone, uh, your i your laptop onto then uh, you'd be all set um but if you're using just the little feet at the bottom of the laptop plus the fan that's built in internally you're probably going to overheat uh good news is it will shut down before it breaks but you don't want to keep doing that um so mine's already overclocked not by much uh 943 megahertz it's it's uh stocked at 685 um the highest i've seen it go is 1200 megahertz uh, that is very, I don't do that because I don't have the greatest cooling system. Um, but when you first open up the system, you're going to want to go to performance control, clocks and voltages. Uh, depending on, I mean, it, you don't have, you can do this with other video cards. If you don't have an AMD A10, this still abides to you. You can still uh, overclock using the system as long as it's the newer HD series of uh, video cards. The, the processor, you can't really overclock too much. I've tried, the highest you can get it to is 3.2. Uh, gigahertz, but that's how fast it's supposed to speed up to under high demand anyway. That's just its turbo core uh, setting. Um, so there's really nothing much you can do there. But with the video card, as I show right here, IGP megahertz, integrated graphics, uh, megahertz speed. And just scroll that up as much as you want, uh, depending on how well you think you can do it. I'm going to keep mine at 955. It's solid and steady. Um, I get no overheating problems with that. Another thing that will help keep you running at maximum speed is getting RAM that is 1,866 megahertz RAM. Um, some people say the motherboard doesn't support it. Truth is, it does. It just won't say it is. Um, you can get that high of RAM running. Anything higher than that, and you're going to have an issue. It won't work. But if you get that RAM, you get the fastest RAM that you can for the motherboard of the laptop, and you hook it in, it will make the memory of the uh, the RAM that the, the video card uses a lot quicker and will speed that up even more. So if you want the most out of this, so this, uh, this great video card, this great IGP, um, this is a little quick overclock, quick little performance boost. It's not going to do too much, but it will help out. Um, for games that might be a little choppy here and there, just bump it up 100, 200 megahertz. You'll smoothen out your frame rates a little bit. Don't expect to play uh, Crisis 3 Ultra settings by overclocking at 500 megahertz. That's still not going to work. There's not enough Radeon cores to make a game like that work correctly. Um, so there you have it. Just do that. If you have any other questions or any, any other requests, just let me know, guys. Thank you for your support. Uh, if you like this video or if this helped you out, please thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and that would be all for today.